Today we're looking at lithops, and lithops are commonly called living stones, mimicry plants, and sometimes flowering stones. They come from South Africa right through to Namibia, and you can grow them in a miniature rock garden like this, or as specimen plants in individual containers. They're easy to grow if you understand the basic requirements of watering, growing medium, fertiliser and light. Flowering from late summer over a period of weeks, the flowers then fade and if pollinated, they'll set seed. After flowering, lithops actually grow a new body or plant. This happens beneath the old plant body. The old plant begins to die back to a shell over winter into spring. For each old plant, two new ones appear. Over summer, lithops are dormant. In terms of light, lithops require good light to flower and grow, usually around eight hours of good filtered light a day with some direct sun. They do not like the full hot direct afternoon sun of summer and can actually burn if they receive too much hot sun. Indoors, try a position in morning sun and filtered afternoon light. Too little light can cause lithops to stretch or grow tall. Lithops require a free draining growing medium. They can't stand wet soil. Water lithops starting in late summer to early autumn. Then the plants will begin to divide and you can cut back on the water a little during this period when they are dividing so that they can absorb the water out of the old skins or body. Then increase the water and they'll begin to flower in late autumn. Water a little over winter, always allowing them to dry between watering. In late spring to summer, cut back on the watering for summer dormancy. If the plant begins to wrinkle a little, then it's time to water. Although lithops are not a hungry plant, they do require some fertiliser. Generally, a little slow-release fertiliser when repotting is adequate. If you're growing them for a few years in the same medium, a little slow-release fertiliser in spring every second year should be adequate. We hope you've enjoyed our look at some of the lithop varieties that are available for you to try at home. And we'd like to thank James Lucas at Succulents Australia for allowing us to show you some of his stock plants. Lithops are commonly called mesems, but this group includes other plants as well, including Conophytum, Vicaria, Pleospilus, Lapidaria, Margarete, and a few others. You'll find more videos on mesems appearing on this channel soon. For more information, visit the website and subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on succulents and indeed all aspects of gardening.